we have done a couple of videos before i kindly request if you are joining us from this episode i request you to kindly go back the playlist from the very beginning watch the first video and continue with that journey because the knowledge you're sharing in this video is built upon the previous video so you will miss a lot if you just didn't watch those videos it's just going to be a disservice for you and a waste of time sorry for that disclaimer <laughs> but i just have to mention it because you might come watching this and then you start asking what happened or how did you arrive at this particular point but i'm happy that if you've been a loyal follower loyal, loyal subscriber on this channel you've been watching from the very beginning I, i'm sure that you're learning you're really learning and it's an encouragement for me to continue creating this kind of content if you like this video give us a thumbs up so today I'm, we're going to go through from where we stopped at the previous in the previous video so that you can do the menu to ensure that the header is going to be properly done that the home page is going to be properly done because right now when you go to our site and you try to reload you you just you know see her.so it is still just you know it gives you the header and footer nothing else the rest is just archive so what do you do from here you have to ensure that first you go to the appearances and go to menus this is where you have to create menus because you already have pages so you have to create something called menus and i like giving my name for the menu as the main menu because you can create multiple menu categories here so one can be appearing on the header one can be appearing on the footer one can be appearing on the top bar one can be appearing on the sides uh, slides pop up windows those kind of things so i'll put my menu on the header and then i'm going to create this menu and after doing that i will now select all these actually by just clicking this one single button and then add to menu now what i need to do is i will do a rearrange i will rearrange this i like home being first and i like about being the second one then i like services being third one and then you know doctors can follow then blog and then lastly contacts then i can save it after doing so i will now go back to my theme builder and then i will attempt to look at the header i'm going to select this header and you see automatically those menus have already been added home about services doctors blog and that in that kind of a sequence already you have them here but they you are all disorganized now we have them in a properly organized manner so now when you select home you see that you can go to that specific home that you're supposed to be at see home is there but now this home and then you select uh, doctors it will take you to the home you see and it's going to be very nice so what do you do next what you have to do next is to ensure that you go to put a static page so that when people select that logo when the people are selecting whatever they, and they, they select it's going to, when they go to that may, yani when so that when people go to that seha.so or your particular domain it takes them to the home direct directory as the landing page as the, one, the 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 welcoming page that they have to come so i'm going to come to customize as i clicked up there and then home page settings don't put latest posts because it will be taking latest posts as news articles when you start posting then it will be taking from there you want it to be on static so when you put static home page should be home and then post page should be blog so that you have fixed that thing anytime somebody comes to your domain seha.so it will be taking them to that home previously when you do seha.so it will be taking them to archives you know and it's not good so we've already fixed that part um we've already fixed that part as you can see the home page is very neat and organized and beautiful we've fixed that area for for the menu and the home page is nice okay um one more thing is that okay you have all these pages all these pages you can customize it the way you want it you can change the background you can change the colors you can and this is what what you you wanted so at this particular juncture you can see that elementor has already worked for you 
you've used Elementor template kit. It's exactly the way this, this original template is. But now you want to customize it. You want to make sure that the colors are going to be different and ensure that um, when somebody comes to this site of yours, they don't look at it as a direct copy of the previous uh, original site that you, you took the template kit from. So this can only be done by change of colors, by change of content in terms of media content and in terms of the write-up, in terms of the information that you put there. Because right now you have dummy information like lorem ipsum, which is a dummy co text content. So you have to get the profile from the, uh, the organization you, work, you are working, you're developing the site for, or the company that you're developing that particular website for. So you get that and then you incorporate it by summarizing because a website also cannot have the, you know, articles of associations there, all those, in, no, 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 you just the profile which has the brief information of that particular organization, the service that they're doing, the, 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 the updates, maybe portfolio of their work, anything that is related that can be used for marketing purposes. Because again, a website is there as a marketing resource where people come and look for your credibility, uh, to, to look for credible information from your site. So don't mix these two things by going to get uh, everything and then just bump, bumping, pooping, putting, putting it over there. Nobody will read it. So make it so brief and summarize so that people can be able to navigate your site without having any challenges. So at this particular juncture, we've already done what we wanted to do, which is to make the menu section and add the home section. The next video, we're going to look at how we can customize this website in terms of styling. And that specifically means change of colors from the ones that we get we got from and that specifically means that we are going to change the colors from the one that we got from the default, yani from the template kit to the brand colors of our preference, of our company, of the organization or brand that we are working for. See you in the next episode.